Well, day three just wrapped up in the trial of an Austin police officer charged with murdering a man while responding to a call. Today, the jury heard testimony from several witnesses, including three Austin police officers. Officer Christopher Taylor shot and killed Michael Ramos outside of Southeast Austin apartment complex back in April of 2020. A 911 caller told the operator that Ramos had a gun in his car, but police did not find a gun. KVU's Isabella Vasco is live at the courthouse in downtown Austin with more on today's testimony. Isabella. Well, Brian and Quida, the jury heard from three police officers who were with Officer Taylor the night they confronted Ramos at the parking lot. Now, before the officers took the stand, though, the jury heard from Courtney Scott, the son of the 911 caller who reported Ramos had a gun, and Jennifer De La Garza, who was living at the apartment complex when this happened, and took cell phone footage of the encounter. Three police officers also testified. Officers Daryl Cantu Harkless, Benjamin Hart, and James Morgan. Tensions were running high when Prosecutor Gary Cobb questioned Hart. But there was never one issue before or after that, was there? I, I'm aware of no sure. Detective, you seem to be very uh, reluctant to admit a simple fact. Objection, no argumentative, sustained. What are you, how, what are you trying to hide? Objection, I'm argumentative, sustained. Or are you trying to hide something? I'm not trying to hide anything. While testifying, Hart said he was afraid of a gun that he believed Ramos had, but he did not know Ramos was unarmed at the time. Hart saying he learned days later there wasn't a gun in the car. The defense had no questions for Hart. Now, right now, the judge says that we are ahead of schedule and the state is expected to complete their witness testimony on Tuesday. And we'll be back here for day four of testimony tomorrow morning.